We go to our topic of the day. Indonesia has seen a growing trend in flexible working space in the past few years amid the change in working behavior among young generations. After a sharp decline during the peak of COVID-19 in 2021, the flexible working space has begun to recover and the demand has increased again. The trend of flexible working space has started since a few years ago. One major example of flexible workspace condition that has been trending in Indonesia is co-working spaces. The trend follows similar global phenomenon where young generations in the digital era, including freelancers, prefer to work in a flexible manner. The workers of different companies can share an office space as well as equipment, utilities and receptionist and custodial services. In Asia-Pacific, including Indonesia, the co-working trend has grown among startups and new businesses. According to a 2018 survey by International Data Corporation, or IDC, 36% of organizations in Indonesia have co-working spaces as their offices. Co-working space helps small businesses, entrepreneurs and freelancers save money, as sharing rented workspaces is far cheaper than renting office spaces, let alone the whole building. The rising demand for co-working space increased significantly in Indonesia, prompting investors to pour in their money to invest in this new market. The pandemic hit all aspects of life and forced workers to work from home. The pandemic also disrupted affected co-working space businesses. Many co-working space providers had to close down. The business began to recover in 2022 following the easing of COVID-19-related restrictions and the demand has begun to increase. There are a lot of characteristics of co-working space players in the country that caters to different types of customers. Some of them even offer specific types of flexible workspace, which is known as service office and managed office. However, the two types of workspace are relatively different from co-working space. Services and managed offices are more suitable for larger businesses that seek more flexibility and agile layouts. As they cater to more established businesses, managed offices usually offer contract length of one to three years. On the other hand, co-working spaces are more suitable to smaller businesses as they offer more affordable rates with fewer private spaces. Different companies, freelancers, and startups can work together in a shared office space with a fee structure based on the number of weekly, monthly, or annual visits. In return, they will have access to all equipment and facilities found in an office environment. For instance, high-speed Wi-Fi, private meeting rooms, communal kitchens, desks and furniture, among others. In Indonesia, several names are known as major players in co-working space market, such as GoWork, GoHive, JustCo, Colega, Conclab, and WeWork. According to a study this year by property research firm GLL Indonesia, the big names of co-working space in Indonesia has dominated most office spaces in Jakarta's popular business districts, such as Rasuna Said, Sudirman, Tamrin, and Gatotsubroto. With a growing economy and a large population, Indonesia certainly remains as an attractive market for co-working space players. The question still lingers over how the players will build their strategy and adjust to the new trend in order to thrive in the industry, while always be prepared whenever challenges come.
co-working space is becoming more popular than ever before as it provides an affordable and also flexible option for workers or small teams. We are happy to have with us today Ibu Vanessa Hendriadi, CEO as well as co-founder of GoWork. Happy to have you here, Vanessa. Thank you so much, Lisa, for having me. also, congratulations for the seventh anniversary of GoWork. Yes, that's right. Yeah, hmm. if, if GoWork were uh, a, a little child, then he would go to primary school already. So that's right. So past the baby step. That's right. Past the pandemic. Past the pandemic as well. Soaring yes, high, yes, getting exactly. stronger. Yeah. All right, Vanessa, as one of the leading co-working spaces in Indonesia, GoWork has definitely evolved over the years, mm -hmm. as you have said that it has passed the pandemic too. That's right. Um, could you explain how the co-working model or the business model has changed now? Yes. So uh, if um, probably the audience also remember, a lot of co-working spaces have sprouted in Indonesia and all over the world uh, about eight to 10 years ago. So, um, and in the beginning, it has viewed as a space uh, for startups, for uh, freelancers, individuals that needs an open space, right? Um, and that was the initial idea. That was the initial idea, mm. exactly. Because these people uh, probably need some flexibility, some agility. However, they are not the only groups or um, uh, businesses that need that kind of uh, work arrangement uh, these days. So uh, what we have experienced at GoWork is that over the years, um, uh, especially after the pandemic, right, we have seen a lot more enterprises and large corporates who um, see this 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 working environment and arrangement is is what can help the company grow uh, and become more flexible as well so would you say this is actually has more shares in what go work is going right now um currently what we are experiencing is that uh, 40 percent of our clientele are companies with 50 and more employees right this includes a few uh, a big number i mean um of companies that ask us to manage their space which uh, is more than one floor in an office building so, um, so initially obviously that is not what the 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 gen one co-working mm -hmm. space uh, was was built but now i think um with te technology touching everything uh, that we we do including all the businesses we see more and more flexibility and agility needed in um, all sizes, company of all sizes. Exactly. Vanessa, do you think you can elaborate more on what is an end-to-end -end office mm -hmm. solution is and how is this beneficial for large corporation, as you mentioned? Yes. Mm. Uh, so at GoWork, we have helped companies and we are helping um, companies to do anything uh, from location selection, right? Uh, the design of the space, um, all the way to the day-to-day -day operations of the office itself. So this includes um, managing the legal services. We have uh, legal partners to do that. So setting up uh, setting up companies. Uh, we also uh, work with uh, partners for IT solutions. Uh, so these are all the, uh, services that that businesses of all size needs, right? But they're not what. Uh, their business's core focus is. So we take that um, that disturbance, I guess, uh, away from them so that they can focus on what they do best. And then we manage all the day-to-day -day office operations, which is very important, but it's probably not something that, that they enjoy doing as well, right? And it's very important as so well for their employee So basically, you're happiness. making it more efficient for this large corporation to That's right. handle their operations. Correct, correct, mm. yeah. Now, how is Gower collaborating with like landlords mm -hmm. as well as property owners mm -hmm. to unlock the potential of uh, vacant spaces? Yeah, um, so landlord and developers are very vital partners um, and um, we collaborate very well with them. What we do is we take um, and discuss underutilized spaces. Um, there are a lot of buildings, older to newer buildings now, that are struggling with attracting uh, clients uh, and companies because a lot of companies are looking for a, a, a ready to enter and ready to use space, right? So uh, we work with the landlord to um, 
uh, evolve their space, right, and um, make it ready for any clients of all sizes to use, which is a win-win solution because then um, it will increase their occupancy. Uh, we we have a, a solution for the clients that that needs to use the space, um, and that is how I think um, it will it will go go forward. Um, the shift is going to that direction. How easy, or if I may ask? How difficult it is to mm -hmm. find vacant spaces in a big city like Jakarta. Yeah, um, the, I think real estate industry always goes through a cycle, right? Mm. And in Indonesia, particularly after the pandemic, a lot of companies are still doing um, work from home, work from the office, or what they call it, hybrid working, right? So they ask everybody to go to the office, all the employees to go to the office, because as we all have experienced, um, 100% work from, from home is very, very bad for our mental health, right? Oh, you think so? Yes, it's, <laughs> like for me, it's, it's very difficult to connect with, with the team mm. and build company culture. So it is if different. We don't, if we don't see mm. them, right? Mm. So, um, but then again, we have experienced how, how easy it is to, and how efficient it is for employees to be able to find their workspace that is closer to their home so they don't, ha they don't have to spend so much time um, in traffic. Um, so the companies that that we help can utilize all the access uh, of the 25 locations that we have for their employees. They can choose a base location and then they can uh, also let their employees choose any locations in any other day that are closer to their work or closer to their clients. Um, and it makes everyone's productivity higher. It makes it more efficient and it also increase employees' happiness. Hmm. So you've been in this uh, GoWork industry for seven years now. Uh, what is GoWork's strategy for your future growth and also expanding your enterprise clientele? Yeah, uh, I think our our mission from the beginning has always been to to uh, really help people find their purpose, and we do that by providing a flexible um, workspace and um, collaborative community, as well as. Um, uh, uh, ways for them to 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 create successes in 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 uh, what they do. Uh, we still help uh, companies of all sizes, right? So from um, freelancer individuals, but we see more and more enterprises and and large corporates that uh, require this kind of uh, customized end-to-end -end solution. Um, so our strategy is um, going toward helping um, these companies to, uh, to, to expand and uh, to scale, right? So we call it scale as a service. Scale does not always mean scaling up, but uh, a lot of companies also need to scale down sometimes, right? And that's what, what we experience as well. Can you elaborate more on that scaling down? How yes. does that work? Yes. Google work? Um, so because we have the flexibility of um, any uh, contract length uh, and um, flexibility with using different spaces and locations. Um, the companies that that uh, are uh, putting their base at Go Work, they can start with let's say 100 people in one location, right? And let's say if they see that there's opportunity, for example, now in Central Jakarta, but they want to expand to to North Jakarta or West Jakarta, right? We have uh, also locations in those in, in in those part of town in Jakarta in particular. Um, they can split their team into those locations. So from 100 in one location, they probably split into one third, one third, or um, they, they um, sometimes companies that are not doing well, unfortunately, they have to scale down. If they were to go directly to the landlord, they uh, would have to commit to like two years to five years lease, right? Exactly. And, and it's mm. very difficult for them to just mm. cut their lease. But with us, because this is what we, uh, what we do, I mean, I'm not hoping for any of our companies to, to have to scale down or uh, not doing well, but we can help them to, to also scale down, uh, right? Um, but most of the companies that want to scale up, uh, first of all, they take one floor and then they um, also take up uh, more floors in the same building. So again, back to your previous questions, working with the landlord, we can, we can be the facilitator of helping the landlord grab these opportunities and also helping the clients to uh, uh, also uh, set a stable base in that so building. So it's a win-win, win-win right. for both sides. All right, um, if you can explain to us briefly, what kind of packages does GoWork offer and mm -hmm. what kind of um, packages that is most popular at okay. the moment? Mm. Yeah, 
Um, we ha have a very wide offering. And again, um, because we built the business in a holistic way, we always look for what do the clients and what do the market needs, right? Currently, we have um, the daily package, which uh, is uh, very useful for people who want to work from anywhere. Uh, we are in major malls, uh, Prime A malls, very strategic located malls in Jakarta, uh, Surabaya, uh, Bali, and Medan. 70% um, of our locations are in Prime A office buildings. So it's very accessible for um, anyone who is very mobile, right, to, to have a, a daily space that they can use. Um, and then for the enterprise or for the companies who want to f uh, find a base, then we have what we call private office. Um, so it's not really just working on an open table with uh, every everyone and anyone, but you can also have uh, your own office, right? And it can be from four people to like 50 people to 100 people, right? Mm -hmm. We have uh, meeting rooms that can be used for, um, by anyone, not just uh, companies that has office at GoWork. So let's say if anyone goes to uh, one of the malls in Jakarta, we are at Pacific Place, for example, and uh, hey, you know, we have a meet, an important meeting. Sometimes we don't want to do it at a cafe, right? So they can book a meeting room up to 20 people, right? And they have a proper board meeting in um, Go Work and book for like two to uh, two hours or so. And this works with a membership? How does it work? Yeah, so, um, we built a proprietary app. Um, so we also invest a lot in technology to mm. make it easier for anyone who wants to have access to Go Work. Uh, so we are in, uh, our app is in um, iOS and also in Android. They book the space through the app. Mm. Uh, we have membership that 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 can fulfill pretty much uh, all the different uh, needs. Um, we also have event space. I forgot to mention that. Uh, recently, we got a lot of bookings from from entertainment studios, actually, oh. who wants to shoot at a mm. lot of our locations because uh, we we have uh, we have twenty five locations now, right? So, mm. so they do advertising, they do uh, movie production. Um, we can open on a weekend as well, so it's not just for working, but it's also for creation. So, Go Work is really broadening your range everywhere now, yes. including entertainment. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's it's. Understanding hmm. what the market needs and understanding what the client needs. So it's right. not focusing just on business businesses. And business. That's All right. right. Uh, Vanessa, we know that the COVID have um, had a big impact on businesses mm -hmm. and most businesses have begun to recover after the pandemic. For the co-working space industry, um, how is the recovery going on at present? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the prospect in the coming years? Mm. Um, yeah, so unfortunately with the pandemic, we cannot control the situation where people have to stay at home, right? Um, uh, I'm glad that it's over. It was a very, very hard two years for us. I cannot speak to other players, but as we see, there are other players who have um, gone bankrupt. Um, some, some foreign players also have downsized or left the country. Tough times. Uh, mm. it, was, it was very tough and it was very unpredictable because we didn't know how long it would have, it, it, it would have lasted, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I think because now everyone is back to work, right? And everyone is, is really fostering the, the community back again. Uh, we see that there are also some other players that are um, starting again, right? I, I think, uh, I believe that, that, that this service can have many different, many different um, layers levels, it, levels layers and mm. um, uh, levels as well. We, uh, you know, for Go Work, we um, have always positioned ourselves as the more like the premium player, right? We're not expensive, but we, we uh, position ourselves um, to have the service and, and the product that is more premium. Uh, I see that there are a lot of a lot of second tier cities in outside of Jakarta that definitely needs something like something like this, right? Uh, co-working space that can help their community or like a certain industry. Um, I have not seen it going back to where it used to be during the pandemic because there used to be like hundreds of players, right? Um, but there are a lot of players that are coming back. Um, smaller player, one location uh, in, in, in their own community. And mm. I think it's, it's healthy for mm. everyone. Okay, so um, where do you see Go Work going in the future? Like, are you planning to expand to other cities, more cities outside Jakarta? 
Um, we are always open for growth, right? Uh, I think three, four years ago, um, this industry is, is, is hot for fundraising as well, right? But we also learn from, um, from the global players, uh, I should not, not name who, that uh, a big funding can also present their own challenges, right? What we have learned is that we uh, focus on the business, we make it uh, sustainable, we um, give values to the uh, members and clients so that we can grow uh, organically as well. But that doesn't mean that we, we are not open for collaborations with um, strategic partners. So we are now focusing on uh, improving and enhancing our technology platform as well to improve the customer experience. And we're open for uh, landlord um, and expansion in uh, Indonesia and also regionally. All right. All the best for GoWork Indonesia. Thank you so much, Vanessa Hendriadi, CEO and co-founder of GoWork. Thank you. Thank you.